Father, we teach the children from the beginning. In the future, when they want to play with the flat magnet, there is no problem. Because we, as I said, we never seen a, what do you call it, a flat star. We never see a flat planet. So, this, because man had to use matter to make it the shape they need, and it's always been rectangular, or it's been a horseshoe, this has been half of the problem in trying to transfer man from the space technology into a spaceship technology. So, the, the good thing is that now we can show them, maybe next time we bring the reactors which make a spherical magnetic field and children will fly with this than most of the parents, because to them it's a new, straightforward, understandable knowledge. But keep him away from magnets on the wall and buy him a spherical magnet, a ring magnet. And then you'll understand they fly, because you see, the what you cannot do with a flat magnet that way is, if you look, as I made the rings, you can play different games with the reality than imagination. Because, if I put this here, you see it, this is a magnet, spherical, which has been made to rotate. If I put this here, which is exact behavior of a flat magnet, here, you won't see any difference. So, it's not reality. It's the same magnet, it's the same distance. Because then, the child gets confused. But, I just put this away, and put a real term magnet, which is near to this, you see what happens. You see the change. So, the field affects each other. Rotation, motion, the speed of rotation. So, instead of starting in the wrong foot with the children with magnets, we talk about the plasma. Because a child is very hard to understand how come it moves this way, and it doesn't move that way. You look, it doesn't happen. So, this is a false physic. Now, you change again. You put a magnet, which is like a light. Look. It moves, it behaves, it responds. That's why how the stars and planets respond. And this is why we started the teaching from the plasma point of view. Not from how man has been. I always say, flat magnets are matter state and that's the state of man. In the universe, everything is dynamic. And to be dynamic, you see the behavior. Very simple. These are called rattle magnets. You can buy them as a pair, because you find out, like everything else, they move. You can see the interaction. You cannot do this with other magnets. A plasma moves. If you can make more and more of them, and then, the beauty of it is, why you call the rattle magnets, magnetic fields don't make sound, but when they interact, they make, no, they make a magnetic noise, or plasmatic magnetic noise, but they create light. So, you can show that light in the, in the noise of the rattle. They, they rattle. So, this is the behavior of a plasma. And, this is a false physics, which we have accepted, and this is how the reality in physics exists. So, you can always play with the magnets, but if you want to understand how the universe works, and the, our generation from what we do, and we see the next generation, which are the teenagers and the, the youngsters, have to learn from the beginning the correct way, and then, so, we don't have to teach them twice. The false way, and then when they learnt it, it's very hard for them. So, it's easier to make plasma physicists as age of eight, than eighty. Or eighteen. And this is what we try to do. Try to introduce children to reality. Not just the shortcut out. And that's where it comes. In the universe, a plasma is a source, which comes out. If you look at it, this way, from the top, is flat. But, 
if you look at the totality of it, is a spherical shape, which is elongated and become what we call a plasma. So, please, if you are parents and you try to bring your children up into the spaceship program, and trying to teach them the reality, a fact about how life is created, to me, as a scientist who works at this level, when you teach your children this magnet, is not very far from the time when the man said the Earth was flat, and the center of the universe. The magnet, this is what we have to walk away from. Now that we see, we understand plasma, is to show the children the reality of what it is. You see, the two magnets are next to each other. From the flat one, you get no reaction, by moving the other one. Unless it gets attracted and it gets stuck, it doesn't rotate, just because you move another magnet. So, this is what happens. A plasma reacts to another plasma, because it's dynamic. Here, it's flat. This is exactly what we said. These kind of magnets, when you start teaching physics, about the creation, about the space technology, create a lot of dilemmas for the children in the future. So, it's better to start from the beginning, with the near enough reality they can see, and then you'll find out, they become geniuses in the space, without us doing much work. Any questions? These are called rattle, rattle uh, magnets, you can buy them. These are called ring magnets. And these are called flat magnets. And they all behave totally different. Any questions? To the time. Yeah. That's, we are about there. Yeah, I think yeah. we can... Sorry about that. We will carry on with this kind of teaching from now on, even in the adult section, or the Thursday times. Because yeah. this, is, this is what we realized, a lot of parents don't understand. We have started this teaching this week in the lab here, and then we carry on now to our teaching uh, with the children. Uh. No, actually, it clarifies uh, for the beginning, uh, as if I were a kid, <laughs> a lot of things to me. Um, maybe if, uh, there's some time for uh, next time for, uh, I have a couple of questions, which it's, uh, you know, at that time when I was a kid, uh, because I learned from you, Mr. Cash, you know, from your books that there, there is no, or was no such thing as a big bang. <laughs> so maybe we could go into, you know, into detail next time. What, because you always talk about the source, and about this universe, and now I've learned that there's not only one universe, but more than one universe. So, um, yeah. that would be a great yeah. thing if we could go, go into detail, because this is a question that always has been fascinating me as a kid. What's the real source? If everything is plasma, what is the real source of all universes then? We'll talk about it next time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you Appreciate very much. It. Is there any questions from the bigger children or the smaller children? Um, no, no for our part. Thank you. Thank you for, for the speech. It was really very interesting for all of us, I think. Thank you very much. I hope we get more children, adult children to listen to and Maybe this even makes it easier for us, for our adult sessions. Right. Uh, thank you very thank much you. indeed, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Mr. Kesh, and to all the participants, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Laura, thank Thanks. you. Thank you very much thank indeed. Goodbye, and all the best with the new life. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.